Hi, welcome to Kyung's Kitchen. I am so happy to be here and thank you for watching. Today, I'm going to share a brand new recipe. I've been sharing not a brand new, but it seems like uh, the law inspired me. New recipe for cooking show. So praise God. The other day, and I was soaking uh, pinto beans. And then I, I was going to make some chili. And I said, wow, there's got to be something else I can make with the soaked pinto bean. Other than making ranch star bean or chili. And the law inspired me. Why not make some Mexican burger? I said, wow, it has to be the law because I never thought about it. So he inspired me all the ingredients to go together. So I'm going to share with you how to make delicious Mexican burger. Let's go and start. First, what you need to do, you need a uh, pinto bean. You need to soak them overnight. And next day, if you have time, uh, you just soak them overnight and wash it, rinse really good and put them in the freezer for another 24 hours. The reason is that it will help you to uh, disappear the gas problem. The freezing beans is really wonderful. So put it in the blender. The next ingredients you will need one can, 15 ounces. A tomato sauce. So we're gonna go and put it in here. Then I will take it all out. All right. And we close this one. And you are going to pause. Did I say right? Pause. <laughs> okay. Let's go and turn it on. Pause for about several times, like that. One more. It's not doing anything. <laughs> Maybe it's too thick. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I um, need some help. Stir a little bit. Yes, there is a lot of air in there. And I guess let's do it one more time. Yes, work. You don't want to blend until smooth, but we like to have a little chunky. So that's what. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna turn this one off. I'm gonna dump this one into mixing bowl. We're gonna all together to make a delicious burger. Pinto bean is very high in fiber. Very high in protein of as well. Then also has minerals and vitamins and such a wonderful for the people who have high blood pressure and diabetes and the heart disease. Remember that we say bean is good for your heart. <laughs> My husband say that all the time. <laughs> bean is good for your heart. It's true. true. God is good. Next ingredients, you will need a one and a half cup oat flour. If you have a quick oat or regular oat, put it in the blender to make a flour. And you will need a half cup pecan meal. If you don't have pecan meal, you can use a, a walnut and put it in the blender to make a, a meal consistency. Next one, you need a half onions, chop. I'll pre-chop here for you. Somehow, these onions are really, really hot. 
so I don't want to cry in the <laughs> cooking shell. So I put it hot for you. And next one, you will need two clove garlic. And this one, uh, you can use uh, like a one fourth cup chopped cilantro, or I know some people, this one you need to pack it to make a one fourth cup. It looks like a lot, but actually this is one fourth cup. I know some people don't like cilantro. I love cilantro, but some people don't. Then you can use a cilantro cousin, parsley. <laughs> it's mild, so you can use that. The next one, you will need one teaspoon sea salt. Cilantro is very high in vitamin K and calcium. Because of that, it's really good for your teeth, your, your bone hairs, and also hair. And it also tastes really good, it's yummy. Next one, I'm using a one teaspoon cumin. Cumin contains antioxidant and wonderful for digestion. And when you use the bean recipe, it's, a, it's good to use some cumin because cumin help to expel gas problem. And uh, also good for diarrhea. And it helps control blood sugar and fights bacteria and parasites. It's really good. And oregano. And this is a uh, you know, oregano and the cumin and the cilantro, that's the Mexican seasoning. Then I'm using it. paprika, one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon oregano. Then I'm using three tablespoon nutrition yeast black and then half tablespoon. Oh, that's talking out of sugar. And now, you're going to mix it with the head. This is another, I, I'll say a lot, but this is another simple and delicious, very nutritious recipe. Now, praise God. And first time I tried this one, and my husband wasn't here. He's my great tester. But I really, really like it. So I enjoy two patties. And then I let my husband taste it when he came home. And he said, ooh, that's too Mexicanized. It's too strong. <laughs> so you may reach a lot of Mexican people to try, but I'm sure a lot of American people want to try it. And you need to kind of, uh, you know, put some less seasoning. So this is I'll try second time. And I'm addicted to this one. I want to eat for breakfast, <laughs> I want to eat for lunch. We don't usually eat supper, so. so I'm just thinking about eating this all the time. So, I think I'm mixing this down. Oh yeah, it's done. Then what I will do, let's put this one up. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the burner to make some, I will put it here, also here. I like to organize my kitchen. And how about that? Yeah, I'll put it here because later I will tell you why. So I'm going to turn this on. Yeah, nice. Okay. Then I uh, will have some fun. You will need some, about one tablespoon. I'm using a 100% grapeseed oil. This is really good for the high heat cooking. So I'm going to show you how to make Mexican burger. And you can use a hand or like me, I like to wear sanitizer gloves. So, mm, oil is getting hot. So you just take it out however size you want it. Usually about one fourth to about one third cup size is perfect. Like that, you just put it on here. Mmm, it's already seasoning. 
Mm -mm. I wish you are in my kitchen so I can share some with you. Okay. Our next be. I think it will, it will be perfect size. Okay. And then once they're kind of light brown, then you need to cut it over and cook both sides is nice and brown. And they are delicious. And I have a finished product. While it's cooking, I'll show you. I mix them out to how to make a Mexican burger. You go. And you can put some some lettuce. And I just pre-made this one Have Mexican burger here. And maybe you can put some tomato. How about some sliced avocado? Yeah. Oh, let me go ahead and check this one. Oh, sorry about that. Getting burnt. <laughs> oh, pay attention. Oh, that burn. Sorry. <laughs> oh. I pretty turn it over. Press down. Mmm. So I did it burn. <laughs> but I think it's better. <laughs> yeah, I need to pay attention when I'm cooking. I cannot do two things. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little lower. You kind of have an idea. Then, usually they like to put some salsa, you know, homemade salsa you can put on top of it. And close it. This is how it looks. But thank you for watching. And until next program, may God richly bless you.